Hey there, I'm Matthew Palumbo with Audio Control and Amp Global Brand, and we're here at the Audio Control booth at SEMA 2022. We're gonna go over some of the amplifiers from Audio Control, talk about some of the differences between them and what you can expect from those different families of amplifiers. So we've got a few different series of amps from Audio Control. The LC and the D series are some of our most popular. The main difference between them is that the D series amplifiers feature our built-in DSP, which is a dig digital signal processor. So this is gonna allow you to fine tune your system, adjust things like equalizer, crossover, time correction, um, signal summing, and other OEM integration features, all built into the amplifier. So you don't need any extra parts, you're not installing multiple products, you're just putting in one product that really does everything, and you're setting it up, tuning it, and adjusting it from either a laptop or a tablet or a smartphone. So it's pretty slick. With the LC series amplifiers, these are more your traditional amplifiers, meaning they're gonna have your dials and controls right on top rather than using a computer. Um, with the LC series, we offer not only the multi-channels, but we also offer subwoofer amps or mono amps in that family. So in the LC series, we have the 1.800 subwoofer amplifier, and we have the 1.1500 if you're looking for big bass. And when I say big bass, I mean big clean bass because it's audio control. Uh, in the multi-channel side on the LCs, we have a five channel, which is becoming one of our most popular models. It's 1300 watts RMS, five channel amplifier. So you can drive an entire system off that one amp. Fronts, rears, subwoofer, all done with one amplifier. This also has our OEM integration built in as well. So if you're familiar with something like the LC8i or LC7i, just assume that that's essentially built into this product. That goes for the, amp, the sub amplifiers as well though. Even the LC1800 and LC1500 actually have an LC2i built inside. So if you're familiar with that product. Um, in the LC family, to wrap that up, we also have the LC6.1200, which isn't shown here, and the LC4.800. So you have a four channel, a five channel, and a six channel in the LC family. And in the D series, we have the four channel, a five channel, and a six channel. So 800 watts for the four channel, 1200 watts for the six channel, and 1300 watts for the five channel. So again, in the D series and LC, the power ratings are the same, the amplifier channel configuration is the same, four, five, six, um, but the difference is being the DSP or no DSP. One of the really cool things though that I will mention on the DSP amplifiers is that they also have a DSP output. So not only are you able to control and set up and tune the amplified channels that are built in, you also have two RCA channels that you can now run out to an additional amplifier. So let's say you're gonna run something like the D4.800 to your four main speakers, but you're also gonna put in a LC1800 for your subwoofer. We can actually use the DSP inside this amp to control and set up this amplifier. So it's pretty slick. So some other exciting products from Audio Control uh, that you may or may not be familiar with is the ACX family. ACX is our all weather product line. So these are designed for you know anything you can dream up, whether that's your boat, your side-by-side, -side, Jeep, off-road vehicle, um, all weather for us means it'll uh, withstand pretty much any elements you can throw at it. So they can be hosed off, you know, they can really take those harsh environments. With the ACX family though, we've already had some 300 watt amplifiers in this family. We have a 300.1 uh, mono subamp and a 300.4, uh, which are down here at the bottom of the display. Those amplifiers are great. Those have been selling for a while. Fantastic little amplifiers. But as is car audio, we always want more. So this year we're coming out with some new models. They're about to start shipping here very, very soon, like uh, here before the end of the year. And what we're looking at is a new two channel that joins the 300 watt family. And even more exciting is the new 600 watt family. So we have a 600 watt mono amplifier, which people have just been begging for. Um, that's gonna be a home run with the 600 watts RMS power all waterproof, awesome little amplifier. And then we also add a 600 watt six channel and a 650 watt five channel to that family. So as you can see, they're a compact chassis. Um, they are small enough to fit in just about any application, but still run a whole system in, in many scenarios. So, you know, the 650.5, for example, tucked under the front seat of a newer Jeep or Bronco is a great solution for those vehicles. Um, we even have some brackets from our sister company, uh, Pack and Stinger, that will help make that even easier to get it installed and be a perfect clean install with no holes drilled, all that good stuff. Uh, also in that ACX family though, is a new Bluetooth controller called the ACX BT3. This is a really neat piece. It is a surface mount Bluetooth device. This is our um, essentially Bluetooth head unit, if you wanna think of it that way. But what makes this a little bit unique from what most folks have 
is it's a three zone Bluetooth controller. So instead of just having a front, rear, and subwoofer RCA output, it actually has a zone one, zone two, zone three. So you can designate those zones for whatever you want. If you want to use it in a traditional sense and do a front, rear, sub, you can. But if you'd rather use it to do maybe zone one is the interior speakers, zone two is the subwoofer, and zone three is the tower wakeboard speakers, you can do that. And now you have independent volume of each of those three zones. So pretty cool piece. And you can switch between those zones really easily. When you press this little center button here, which is our logo, we call it the AC Glyph, it actually changes colors. So when we're on that kind of magenta color, we're just controlling the volume now of zone one. When we press it again and it goes green, we're on zone two, same thing. I'm only controlling now the volume of zone two. One more time, when it's white, we're on zone three. And then I can press it again to go back to blue, or if you just leave it alone, it'll default back to blue. And then all the volumes will stay relative to each other as you increase and decrease the master volume. So works really well. It does also have an auxiliary input built in. So if you need to add in an additional source, you have the capacity to do that. And again, this is an ACX product. So it is marine rated or all weather rated. So it can be hosed off and withstand those harsh elements. Again, great for your jet ski, your side-by-side, -side, your classic car, whatever it may be. It's a great piece for those kind of unique builds um, where you don't really want a head unit, but you also don't want to have to grab your phone every time you want to change the volume or change tracks. Because we do, of course, have volume, but we also have play pause, track forward and track back. So you have some basic control. So um, some of the other kind of standout features on this, though, that a lot of um, competitive products don't have is that this is going to give you a four volt RCA output. So it's a really hot, clean signal going to your amplifier. For those of you that don't really know what that is or why that matters, it just means that we're gonna be able to keep the gain setting on your amplifier extra low, which is gonna result in more volume, less distortion, more clarity, all good things uh, with amplification, less heat as well, less wear and tear on the amplifier. So all good things come from high voltage output. So it's a pretty cool feature in those. So uh, in our LOC family, you know, audio control is kind of infamous or known for our line output converters. It's one of the things that a lot of people uh, know us for. And there's really legendary popular products like the LC2i. The LC2i really set the benchmark, set the standard for line output converters in the mobile electronics industry. And then we took that and expanded on it and went, hey, this is a great product, but how could we make it better? So we came out with things like the LC2i Pro which took everything great about the LC2i and made it even better with things like built-in load generating devices, uh, new turn-on modes to make sure it's compatible with newer vehicles. We made the AccuBase easier to set up. You know, we did a lot of things to just make it a little more installer friendly. It's a little slimmer, a little sleeker, a little easier to hide. We also made the LC1i, which is kind of the, the little brother, right? No AccuBase in that one, no port for a base knob, uh, whereas the 2i Pro actually comes with the base knob. However, you know, what about a multi-channel system? Sometimes we're doing more than just a subwoofer add-on. Well, if that's the case, you may already be familiar with products like the LC6i, the LC7i, or the LC8i. So what we have releasing very soon is the LC7i Pro and the LC5i Pro, which is not pictured here. So the 7i Pro is gonna be kind of our new benchmark standard for a multi-channel LOC. And the 7i Pro does a lot of the same things we did from the 2i to the 2i Pro. So it got a little slimmer, a little sleeker, a little bit nicer looking. And then what you've got is your AccuBase is now easier to set up than ever. You've got an LED right on that top panel that really makes it a cinch to set up AccuBase, even if you've never done it before. Uh, there's also all of your signal summing switches are exposed. So no longer do you have to take the top cover plate off of the product and you know mess with little jumpers inside. Everything is done externally and really easy to get to, clearly labeled. And then all of your load select is built in as well. If you're not familiar with that, that's your load generation. This is essentially gonna trick the factory radio into thinking that its uh, original speakers are still connected and, and kind of fool it into working the way that it's supposed to. Because modern vehicles these days can tell when the factory speakers have been disconnected or their outputs are no longer being used as intended. And that's exactly what we're doing here. The other cool thing that's built into this now is all of our, our Pro Series products are going to come with the ACR remote. So whereas with an LC7i, you would need to buy the ACR1 separately, same thing with an LC2i, a 2i Pro and a 7i Pro all come with that uh, ACR knob in the package. So pretty cool. The LC5i Pro is kind of the, uh, again, kind of the, the step down product from this. And it's going to be kind of um, an expansion of the 6i or kind of a little brother to the 6i, if you want to think of it that way. And the, the 5i Pro is a same size chassis. But what it is, is it's a four channel input with a five channel output. So you're going to be able to just bring in a front left right and a rear left right signal 
sum them if you need to. If you don't need to, that's fine. And then what you're gonna get out of it though is a front, rear, and sub output. So if you are putting in a four channel and a sub amp or a five channel amplifier, you're gonna have all the outputs you need to do that without having to do multiple adapters, multiple converters, or more expensive products that you might not need. You'll be able to just do a kind of budget-minded LC5i Pro, drop it in there and get that job done no problem. So that's the whole idea with that one. The 5i Pro will feature a lot of the similar things from the 7i, like our signal summing external switches, the built-in load generation, um, the ACR1 in the package. It's just kind of the, you know, like I said, the, the, the step down from the 7i Pro. So pretty excited about those. Those will be shipping very soon too. So for these products and any other audio control products, make sure to check out avleaders.com. Um, they're one of the best sources online for all things audio control. Thanks so much for stopping by uh, audio control here at SEMA 2022.